Hey, welcome back. Uh, it's August uh, 9th of 2011 and I've done a little work on the solar system this past year. Uh, we basically, as my prior video, I had one inverter and all my batteries on the right, or I should say on the left in this picture, but what I did is added them all and moved them and cleaned everything up. So now we're running two Xantrax uh, 6 kilowatt inverters running in parallel. These will ramp up to 12K uh, on demand. Uh, you can see both my, uh, sorry about the shadows, I've got both my charge controllers side by side and I've also separated them off the wall so I can get a little more airflow behind them. They were, uh, I was concerned about the warmth. I also extended the back panel board itself of the whole system, put a layer of insulation behind it because this is my outside wall. Uh, cleaned up all my cabling and uh, rerouted all my electric. So now my main panel uh, originally was feeding in from the inverters over here on my main breakers for the house, but now I've created my own uh, complete sub panel for the system. I've got a main disconnect for the entire system and then both inverters on A and B side. Uh, I can control each one independently and they go into my big 400 amp knife switch, uh, which feeds everything. So basically I've cleaned everything up. I also, what I did, I researched it and I went ahead and purchased uh, a Gladiator uh, steel cabinet from Lowe's and put all my batteries in here. I was very concerned about the wood, uh, also concerned about fire and security. So what I've done is I've modified the shelves, reinforced them with two by fours underneath so that they won't collapse, screwed everything together and basically I've got 16, what have I got, 4, 8, 12, 16 batteries in here, all my marines. This is 500 amps of power. I've connected them into my bus bars in the back. A little crazy getting in there with a wrench, but with gloves and keeping things short, uh, everything seems to fit. And then punched holes in the sides for two sets of uh, cabling coming out, my positives, my negatives. And then each inverter has a feed back to the uh, system itself. So these batteries are sharing off of both inverters. I may switch to uh, gel filled uh, or true solar system batteries. I don't know. I'm getting some feedback from everybody that these may not last if I put these under 30 days worth of load on the house and then switching back to uh, grid that these probably won't last in the long run but for now I've already invested it I haven't used the batteries a whole lot they're about two three years old and uh, for now they're they're hanging in pretty good I actually had a friend of mine from the fire department come over and he looked at the system and he says our only concern is how do we shut it down and uh, everything's been marked and I asked him I says so what what happens when you get a battery fire do you uh, walk away from the system or do you call a hazmat team? He says you actually just let it burn. <laughs> so that's my system right now. That's what I've got. I've still got the 6K of solar panels outside, but uh, maybe one day we'll ramp those up. That's it for now.